Her work continues to inspire all of us in the border city as she really is an ambassador for the Midwest wherever her travels take her. Brandi Hoffer is on the move again and Gerard Lampau catches up with her in this week's arts and entertainment feature. Yeah. So hopefully you'll see it then, but I want to execute a new series on, on uh, plexiglass. Say the name Brandy Hofer and you know Lloyd Minster's got talent. As recently as last November, she was named Artist of the Month by Saskatchewan Network of Art Collectors. I was honored to be their first inaugural Artist of the Month. The young artist is heading to Red Deer next month to show off her work. This exhibit came about last February while she was in residency at Red Deer College. She started work on a series of paintings over 100 in total using these wax as a medium. The work is based on the Canadian landscape. I included um, some portraiture, but I did most of the paintings with found objects, that, like feathers, um, um, papers and stuff like that. She describes it as fine art, almost like quilted patterns, and it's surprising to note that she does not title her work. I like to leave it open to interpretation. Um, when you title something, I think it just tells someone what it's about, and they, they kind of go, oh yeah, it is about that, cool, yeah. And instead, people look, and they try to relate some part of their life to it. Brandy adds that she does not draw all the details, but leaves room for people to connect to her work. On her radar this year is applying for residency in Sweden for 2013, as well as funding for a new series based on the poetry of Edgar Allan Poe. And despite her travels, she remains rooted in Lloydminster. I find that's the best way I can create is when I'm at peace at home. You'll get a chance to touch base with her before she heads out to Red Deer at the Wine and Cheese Night at Spiro's on January 23rd, which will also feature two other artists and music from the band Swear by the Moon. Everyone is smiling at the Wine and Cheese. Gerard Lampau, Newcap News. Well, the Cattlemen's Corral Crop Visions wrapped up yesterday with a panel presentation on life beyond single desk marketing. The discussion focused on the opportunities and challenges resulting from market freedom and its impacts. In this week's Agriculture Report, Peter Quinlan brings us the highlights from the forum. Farmers from across the region gathered to get more details about the future of agriculture. As the Canadian Wheat Board transitions out of having a single desk, farmers learned there are still many things in the works. There have been meetings with, with Minister Ritz and the Board of Directors, and those just happened this last week. And, and a lot of the pieces to the puzzle uh, came, up, came fairly apparent there. Canadian Wheat Board representative Vic Shapansky was also able to clarify some misunderstandings. Some people are, are thinking we're dead. No, we're not dead. We're here. And uh, we, uh, we intend on, on carrying on for the, next, for the next few years, and time will tell just how good we are. Chapansky says over the years they've discovered the key to success is found in building relationships with other countries. When you get to the Asian market, you just don't walk in and, and try to sell somebody grain in there. They want, uh, they want to establish a relationship, and we feel we've got that, we've got that relationship with them right now. Agronomist Kevin Hirsch believes the CWB will still play a key role in grain marketing. They look like they could be a, a more significant player in the new world than what I thought they would be originally. And if that's the case, competition can be, can be good in the marketplace. Most of us want options as to how we sell and how we market. Australia recently removed their single desk, resulting in a net loss of profit for farmers. Hirsch says there were many other factors affecting their situation. I do sometimes worry that we may end up in a bit of a wreck for the first few months of the first year. Peter Quinlan, Newcap News. The Agriculture Report is brought to you by Novelin Brothers in Lloydminster. Find the best in versatile and Kubota machinery. Novelin Brothers, serving you better.